What is up guys? Good morning, good afternoon, good night, whatever it is for you. I hope you're all having a great day today and welcome back to another vlog. So today is the final day of 2018. I know I was supposed to have a video going up literally today right now when I'm filming this, but the last week since Christmas has been kind of all over the place, like laziness and also trying to get work done at the same time, and I really just haven't had any time. I didn't get around to uploading the Christmas video until like Friday at 10 p.m., and the Christmas Eve video didn't actually go out until Thursday if you guys were paying any attention to that. It was just kind of all over the place. Plus the fact, as I said, it's been a bunch of laziness as well. Like the week from Christmas to New Year's is like one of those weeks where you have a bunch of weird behaviors where you're just lazier than normal because the holidays have caught up to you and everything. And then all of a sudden you're saying, well, I'm going to let it slide for now. But when 2019 or 2000, whatever gets here, this crap's going to stop. Hopefully. Not only that, but some stuff has happened while I have not been filming since Christmas Day. For one, I finally got my brand new phone, and I will show you guys that in a second. And two, I also have been going to work as well trying to get stuff done because after Christmas, retail starts the Valentine's Day stuff, so that stuff had to get started, meaning I had no time to film any videos. And here it is, my friends, a brand new iPhone XR. I've had this thing for about a week now, and let me tell you, I love it. The battery life is amazing. The sound is amazing. The just picture with everything from the lock screen to the home screen to the videos to even the graphics on some of the phone games is amazing. And I even switched phone carriers as well. I went from Straight Talk to Verizon. The reason I did that is because Straight Talk was going to be way too expensive for me to get a new phone on. Verizon was the best deal out of all of them that I could have gotten, and the cell reception is actually so much better now. I did, however, since getting this phone, figure out something very interesting about my house. I don't think I ever talked about this in the vlogs, but when I had Straight Talk, I was dropping calls left and right, no matter where I was in the house. I could be in the kitchen or I could be in here, and my phone would go to one bar. Even in the living room, it would do it sometimes, and then you'd move around in the rooms and it would go up a couple of bars, or it, just, it was all over the place. And honestly, it was just getting really, really annoying because I'd be in like the most important part of a phone call and then all of a sudden I'd look down at my phone and no one would be talking and it would say, hey, your call failed. So it would give you the option to either exit out or call back and most of the times I just exited it out and then had to go back into my phone app and redial the number and then hopefully get back through or to have a ton of problems. But what I've noticed is that this house is actually really bad when it comes to cell reception because you walk outside and it shoots right back up to four bars, but you come in the house and it drops back down. However, Verizon, thankfully so far, has not dropped any of my calls. Apparently, I literally just sound like a fish on the other end to everybody, so I have to repeat myself a million times still. So it has been a few hours since I started this vlog. In that time, I have gone live on the YouTube channel. I've actually had to go live twice. For the first time, halfway through the stream, the software that I have for my phone, because I live stream on my phone in order for me to do gameplay, decided to conk out and stop streaming. So I had to restart it. Now I'm literally just waiting for the thing to upload. For some reason, it just takes forever to upload and process when it is on my phone. But if I'm uploading on my computer, it's completely fine and goes through within a matter of like 45 minutes at the most. Also, got dinner going right now. I got some chicken tenders in the oven because we are doing our usual New Year's Eve junk food kind of dinner. These tenders are going to get shredded up as soon as I am done and they're going to eventually be put into some quesadillas. I'm not sure exactly what I'm going to put into the quesadillas. I think it's probably just going to be chicken and cheese unless I can find some peppers to cut up and if we have salsa or anything else. My mom is coming back from Price Chopper with some cold cuts, some hard rolls, and I've also got to do chicken wings as well and we also have chips and dip so it's gonna be a pretty good night to sit back relax and celebrate the new year with the family so the chicken tenders are all done I actually took them out to flip them over and get the other sides a little golden brown but now I need to 
set this camera up, start a time lapse, and shred all this chicken to get it ready to make quesadillas. so worried when I put the chicken in that eight tenders wasn't going to be enough for quesadillas. After shredding it, it kind of, yeah, it, it's way more than enough chicken. This is slowly just becoming a vlog all about me cooking, but I literally just put these four tortilla shells in the oven for about two minutes. Now I need to throw the chicken on and some cheese and throw them back in the oven. Seven minutes after 9 p.m. already, a little less than three hours until the new year, my friends. Quesadillas are all done, as you can see. There's one kind of missing, because I did four of them, one for each of us. Well, my dad couldn't wait, so he had his already. <laughs> However, we have an endless amount of chicken going tonight because I have three different types of chicken wings in here. I have just plain old wings, I have them covered in shake and bake, and then I have barbecue wings in the back as well. So it is very much a cooking kind of New Year's Eve. We have got hard rolls here and cold cuts and a ton of stuff and I will show you guys my entire plate and make you really hungry, which I apologize for as soon as the wings are done and I'm ready to sit down and eat. And just like that, all the chicken wings are done. I do think though I burnt these ones a little bit, at least the foil looks burnt, but other than that, everything looks amazing. Now I just gotta make sandwiches, everybody's gotta get out here and get their quesadilla that hasn't already, and their chicken wings, and we are ready to just dive into this New Year's junk food kind of feast. I know I talked about this earlier in the vlog, but just going back to the phone for a second, I have actually had this phone for a week now, as I said, but... I literally just set up Face ID instead of setting it up the day that I got the phone because I didn't want to do it, so I've literally been getting into my phone through just a regular passcode. But now, while I was waiting for the chicken wings to be done, I decided to set up Face ID and uh, it works. So, I'm happy. Hopefully, I don't screw it up. Now, I can get some food. About to see the world in action, what we can be. Life with no distractions We'll get away This is what we waited for getting closer and closer to midnight it is 11 28 p.m. right now about to switch over to one of the stations that has the New Year's Eve celebration on for the last half hour also you guys noticing that I'm guessing I don't see it when I'm like not looking in the camera but my phone face ID that's the light and the camera is picking up at trying to do the face ID that is really weird 11 54 p.m. six minutes left until the New Year begins begins but before the ball drops it is time to FaceTime Erin and actually be on FaceTime with her at midnight because we were actually all supposed to get together and have our own little party tonight but those plans kind of fell through so FaceTime's the next best thing hopefully she answers and there's the phone because I bet you anything that's my grandmother antsy phone 
Oh, wow. oh, oh geez, she's got it already. <laughs> Miss Party Girl over there. She's a freak. <laughs> I got that for YouTube. It's almost time. I've got two phone conversations going on in the background of this vlog right now. <laughs> Is it going well? Yes. yes. It's almost time. Oh, it is pouring there. It's pouring here too. Yeah, while they're all standing out in the rain in New York City. Happy New Year. <laughs> I don't have any champagne. Champagne. <laughs> it's not your kind of drink, is it? <laughs> Aaron. Aaron sticks with the fireball. Yep. That's not happening. It is almost 2.30 in the morning and I have been staying busy the entire time since I filmed the ball dropping. Got off FaceTime with Aaron and then started texting all of my friends wishing them a happy new year. Then got on social media, started posting a bunch of stuff, was talking to my grandmother on the phone for about an hour and a half. And then after I got done with all of that, I sat and I played Fortnite for about 30 minutes and still continued to realize that I suck at that game. With me getting the new phone the other day, I was able to finally start playing Fortnite again and I was also playing PUBG Mobile a lot this last week since I got the phone. I'm getting better at PUBG Mobile, which I'm so happy about, which makes awesome gaming live streams when I can actually win a game, which never happens on live stream for me. And then I've also realized that I really need a lot of practice at Fortnite, and somehow, in some way, I'm going to get good at it, but I'm very doubtful. Anyway, guys, it's 2019. This is the start of an absolutely amazing year. I cannot wait to see what it brings. You guys are coming along for the journey, and I want you guys to set out, and I want you guys to make 2019 the best year of your lives as well. This is going to be a year like no other, the best year of every single person's life in this world. Anyway, guys, that is pretty much going to wrap it up for today's video. I want to thank you so much for watching because I really do appreciate it. I want to welcome any brand new viewers that are here right now. I love it that you found my videos, and I really do hope that you come back for more. If you enjoyed this and you so desire to slap a like on it, don't forget to turn those post notifications on down below, so that way you never miss when I upload a brand new video to this channel. Also, while you're down there, if you have not already, and I do not understand why you haven't, you gotta click that big red subscribe button, and I'll see you guys next time with another brand new vlog. Remember to stay awesome, keep smiling, you're beautiful, and I love you guys so much. Peace out, YouTube. Happy New Year. Ah!